everybody hates the system, including the man and the machine. The strict rules, regulations, and expectations that almost everyone lives by are enough to make you want to scream. Fortunately, there are plenty of people out there who found ingenious workarounds to circumvent these rules. From taking free Photoshop requests literally to finding ways to sneak forbidden snacks into the cinema, let's take a look at even more genius individuals who've beaten the system. In NASCAR, the ultimate American stock car sport, drivers complete several hundred laps at speeds of more than 200 miles per hour around a closed-off track. They score points based on their finishing positions. NASCAR driver Ross Chastain achieved something truly remarkable on the track back in October 2022. In the final turn of a 500-lap race, while in 10th place, Ross decided to try something truly audacious called wall riding. This maneuver, known to fans of the video game NASCAR 2005 for the Nintendo GameCube, involves accelerating to full speed and relying on the wall to steer around the track, disregarding any potential damage to the car. Miraculously, Ross executed this move, propelling himself from 10th to 5th position. Not only did this secure his team a place in the NASCAR Championship Final, but he also set the record for the fastest lap ever recorded at the Martinsville Speedway. It was an achievement even more remarkable than any of Vin Diesel's imaginary stunts. In the vast world of content creators and streamers, it's often hard to differentiate between them. However, there's one individual whose trademark deadpan tone and cutting wit make him utterly unique. Moist Critical, also known as Charlie, Critical, or Penguinzo, this gaming and variety streamer has become synonymous with white t-shirts, long brown hair, and scathingly sarcastic commentary. In March 2022, Charlie faced a dilemma when he was invited to the Streamer Awards but couldn't attend the event. Instead of sending someone else to accept the award on his behalf, he devised a plan. He sent two representatives from the Moistverse, Joel Haver and Kevin Armarillo, to impersonate him for the entire evening, mimicking his comedic style. Their appearance was the most entertaining of the entire ceremony, and despite Charlie's absence, he left no one disappointed. To top it off, Charlie won his category, and the acceptance speech delivered by Joel and Kevin stole the show. During the COVID pandemic, wearing face masks became a requirement to prevent the spread of the virus. However, it sparked debates and resistance among some individuals who refused to wear masks due to various reasons. In August 2021, Texas's Republican governor, Greg Abbott, banned mask mandates, making masks optional and unenforceable by law. This decision resulted in a significant spike in COVID cases, with Texas reporting millions of infections within a couple of months. However, the Paris Independent School District found a clever way to protect their staff and students. They amended their dress code to include masks for everyone, as the governor's orders had no impact on the Texas Education Code. By utilizing this loophole, the district ensured their safety measures remained in place, regardless of the mask mandate ban. Ironically, Governor Abbott himself tested positive for COVID after attending a maskless public event, demonstrating the consequences of not following preventative measures. So, it's clear that the sentiment of sarcasm was heavily employed in the previous context. Let's not engage in any negative comments about it. Speaking of dress codes, some teachers can get real wound up about them. One Reddit user by the name of Tandy Angie recalled a time when her friend got into a dress code conundrum. She was told by the junior high school principal that she couldn't wear her tank top, even though she had a long sleeve shirt underneath it, because tank tops were against the dress code. Unfortunately, the long sleeved shirt was ever so slightly see-through, and so she couldn't wear the one without the other one, and was sent home. This ridiculous nitpicking set Angie off, and she decided to show the school up by following each dress code rule to the letter to make a point. She started small with a rule stating no open toe sandals, Instead, she wore open-toed heels, and because it wasn't a sandal, the principal couldn't do anything. Getting away with that, she moved on to shirts, which had to be tucked into pants. So she wore a skirt and had the shirt hanging out of it because there were no pants to tuck into. Checkmate. No tank tops allowed, but there was nothing in the rules about tank dresses. No Crocs? Well, guess what? There are other rubber shoe brands that exist. No shirts with logos or print, only patterns and consistent designs. But what if the print was part of a consistent design? Big bite me energy there. No costumes allowed, but Angie clarified that the school defined a costume as something worn only for a few hours. 
So for entire days at a time, Angie would dress up as a lawyer, a clown, a hippie, Abraham Lincoln, and the principal couldn't say anything. Exasperated and with her point well made, the principal took Angie's point and changed the rules of the dress code so that kids caught violating the rules were just written up instead of being sent home. Power Complex Principle Zero, Kids with Limitless Creativity, One. While rules vary from screen to screen, a lot of cinema chains in America ban any outside food or drinks from their premises in order to make money on the snacks they sell. While we've all snuck snacks into the cinema in our pockets or bags, back in 2016, Snapchat user Priscilla found a wacky workaround. She and her friends had a craving for watermelon, but seeing how the cinema didn't sell it, she had to find a way to sneak it in. And that's when they were hit with a stroke of genius. They cut a few melons in half and strapped them to their bellies with some duct tape before covering up and walking into the cinema like a group of pregnant pals. The staff didn't suspect a thing, and when the lights went down, they could enjoy their fruity snacks in peace. The only problem was there were no trash cans in the cinema, so they had to leave the rinds behind, which one of the poor workers who had to clean them up then took a picture of and uploaded to Twitter. Despite the mess, this melon move went viral, inspiring many others to do the same, and it seems to have worked. Personally, I think I'll be sticking to popcorn, but you do you, girls. There are some workarounds that, while genius, are somewhat frowned upon, which explains why they're posted by anonymous users through Twitter accounts such as Fesshole. It's a sort of confession booth, but for internet goblins. For example, one user admitted that he'd bought a gym membership, but not for the purpose of working out. Instead, he used the convenient gym location to park his car, allowing him to walk into work, which was located only a few minutes from the gym, and to his favorite bar, all without having to pay for any extortionate parking fees. Living the dream. Another Fesshole original comes from a British guy who was seeking to rent a garage for some extra storage space. The landlord of the property wasn't great and really rubbed our man the wrong way. After inspecting the space, he noticed a really small leak in the corner. The landlord told him it was nothing to worry about and was so confident that he even said if it got any worse, he'd knock £40 off, which is about $50, from the rental price. Seemed like a good deal, so our guy took the garage. However, once he had the keys, he stealthily went back and poured out a five-litre bottle of water where he'd noticed the leak springing from, before later calling the landlord to tell him it had, in fact, gotten worse. True to his word, the landlord had to drop the price, and our man was £40 a month richer. Not for nothing, but these two kind of sound like they deserve each other. Our final Fesshole submission revolves around one of my favorite topics of contention, pay rises. Currently, all around the world, prices of everyday goods are increasing, the cost of living is getting more expensive, and some workers are finding that their salaries aren't rising in line with these increases. As such, one worker decided to take matters into his own hands. His workplace relied on an anonymous online feedback form for all staff concerns and complaints. One day, using a VPN or virtual private network, he submitted a series of these feedback forms, changing the location and data with each one, making it look like lots of different employees were submitting them, not just him. He raised questions about the cost of living and low salaries and how people simply wouldn't be able to afford to work at this company unless significant pay changes were made. A few weeks later, during their pay reviews, everyone got a much bigger uplift than expected, People were stunned at the drastic increase to their salaries as no one had said anything. Well, all except one guy. But hey, what the boss doesn't know. When I was a kid, my mom used to tell me to stop watching TV, get off my consoles and go outside and play. Like an idiot, I put down my controller and reluctantly got my dose of vitamin D. And what makes me an idiot here? Well, if I'd had the smarts of this kid, I could have had the best of both worlds. Technically, he is playing outside. Look out, with that logic, we might have a future president on our hands. Some workplaces enforce strict dress coats, like black shoes and shirts with ties. I disliked such places, which led me to become a YouTuber where I can dress freely. Not everyone has this luxury, as a Reddit user's daughter experienced when she had to wear plain black pants at her job. One day, she used a marker to hide rips in her only available black pants, successfully avoiding a uniform code violation. When it comes to household chores, raking leaves can be tedious, with a few always escaping. However, street cleaners have a more efficient method. They hold out their rakes on the back of a truck and drive forward, effortlessly catching most of the leaves. This technique impressed me and made me feel inefficient. Yard work is a despised task for many, including myself. 
However, some ingenious workarounds exist. One person taped a lawnmower to a stick, while another attached additional wheels and a plank to their power-assisted mower, allowing them to ride around the yard. There's also a trick involving a string and a pole to put a cordless lawnmower on automate mode. Finding balance, both literally and figuratively, is a key aspect of efficiency. A woman was spotted wheeling her child on the back of a Segway, while a man used a hoverboard Segway to shop for groceries in the store. These unconventional methods save energy and make tasks more convenient. In conclusion, people have devised creative solutions to overcome uniform codes, sneak alcohol into events, rake leaves more efficiently, and handle yard work with ease. These examples demonstrate the human ability to find innovative alternatives and make life a little bit easier. Ah, the joys of small but inconvenient tasks. We've all been there. Cleaning the top of a high cupboard or sweeping the stairs can be quite bothersome due to the awkward angles. However, there are some clever individuals out there who have found ingenious workarounds to tackle these tasks. For instance, an attendant who was asked to clean the sides of escalators came up with a brilliant solution. Instead of struggling with the task, he simply rode the escalator down with a cloth in hand, letting the moving stairs do all the work. Talk about efficiency. And it seems that this level of ingenuity extends to escalator maintenance workers worldwide. In the Shanghai Museum, someone spotted a worker efficiently cleaning both the inside and outside of the escalator glass while riding it down. Now that's multitasking at its finest. Now let's talk about those dreaded dishes. We've all had moments of procrastination when it comes to doing the dishes, but fear not, for there's a creative workaround. Instead of cleaning a plate and having to clean it again later, some reuseful individuals have resorted to making bowls out of tinfoil. After using the makeshift bowl, they can simply throw it away, saving them the hassle of washing it. Similarly, empty foil-lined cupcake casings can serve as impromptu cups, allowing you to enjoy your cookies and milk without hearing the kitchen sink call your name. However, it's worth considering the environmental impact and whether it's worth the waste of materials for such temporary convenience. Now let's move on to the eternal struggle of finding a bottle opener when you're ready to enjoy a cold beverage. One clever person found a solution by attaching a bottle opener to their dog's collar. With a simple whistle, they could summon their furry friend and pop open a bottle in no time. No more searching for the elusive opener. Speaking of creative thinking, let's talk about a German student who tried to use the Freedom of Information Act to his advantage. He sent a request to the Public Education Ministry asking for the answers to test questions that would appear in the upcoming exams. Technically, the government couldn't refuse him due to the legislation. However, they managed to turn down his request by stating that it would significantly impact an upcoming administrative measure. So close, yet so far. At British horse races, the prominent difference is the excessive consumption of alcohol leading to drunken chaos. Some individuals try to sneak booze into the racecourse using clever hiding spots. However, security is becoming wise to these tricks. In one instance, a person hid a bottle of vodka inside a sub sandwich, but it was discovered. Another person shared a photo of a plastic bottle of booze duct taped to their thigh under a dress, suggesting better hiding techniques. To outsmart security, some inventive solutions have emerged. One option is a hollow bangle that can be filled with any beverage, effectively concealing it. Another option is the wine rack, an enhanced bra designed to hold alcohol in its padding, with a hidden drinking tube. These allow individuals to enjoy their drink while bypassing security checks. Christmas may bring joy and cheer, but the clean-up afterward can be quite a task. While most of us meticulously put away decorations one by one, there's always that one person who takes it to the next level. Using a roll of plastic wrap, they secured all the decorations and lights in place, creating a neatly wrapped bundle. When it's time to decorate for the next Christmas, all they have to do is unwrap, plug in, and voila, instant holiday spirit. Lastly, let's not forget the Photoshop master James Fridman. He's become known for turning literal interpretations of Photoshop requests into hilarious results. People send him their pictures and ask for edits, and he takes their requests quite literally, providing unexpected and amusing outcomes. You can check out more of his work on his website, jamesfridman.com, and prepare to be entertained for hours. So which of these geniuses do you think best beat the system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.